that this is Anna Aspinas from Anna Aspinas Designs and in this video tutorial I want to show you how to create custom fine edge frames in your photo inspired pages. I'm going to be demonstrating this technique in Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 but please feel free to follow along in the version of your choice. In my workspace I have my week 36 layout which is created using the photo inspired double page template number 80 and then a variety of supplies which includes Artplay palette Artsy and then the um, Artsy cards Artsy multi pack. If you're interested in watching my five step process and how I go about creating my pages you can go to oscraps.com Anna Aspinus Designs and then locate the video, Photo Inspired Number 1, Five Step Process, in the free art category of the Anna Aspinus Design Store. In this particular video, I want to share my technique for adding these fine edge frames to my photo inspired pages. Um, every week I add them, it creates separation between the various. Um, masks and frames of the template and draws the eye sometimes to um, whatever is contained within each one of these these masks or frames. Um, you'll notice that I stamp them in either black or contrasting white depending on what I'm trying to frame. I currently have three fine edge frame products in the Anna Aspinus design store. Fine edge frames 1, 2 and 3 they're delivered in both ABR and .png format and they can be located in the Project 365 slash Life category of the Anna Aspinus Design Store and if you go to the subcategory of frames then you'll find them there. Um, they are pretty standard sized. Um, all three of the products have different sized frames but sometimes you will need to create a custom frame to fit some of the masks that are included um, in the templates. So to add a frame to one of our photos, uh, the first thing that we want to do is create a new layer. So the first step is to select the Move tool from the Tools panel, which changes your options at the bottom of the screen. And the just click next to this Auto Select layer and ensure that box is checked. What this does is it allows you to click anywhere on your layout and select that corresponding layer in the layers panel. So say for example we want to add a fine edge frame to this photo here. I would simply click on that photo layer to select it and you can see that it automatically um, selects that layer in the layers panel and it's a photo that's clipped to photo mask 5. Next you need to create a new layer onto which you'll stamp your fine edge frame. So go to the top of the layers panel in Elements or in Photoshop, the full version, you will locate this icon at the bottom of your layers palette and click on it to create a new layer above the photo layer that you auto selected. Select the paintbrush tool from the tools panel. Notice that your options change at the bottom of your screen click on the downward facing arrow to access your brushes panel. Notice that I've already loaded my fine edge frames number one. You can go ahead and load the brush set of your choice. If you need further guidance on loading brushes, please see the brushes number one video that's located on the Anna Aspinus Designs YouTube channel. Choose a brush from your brush panel. Um, I like to go with one of the larger brushes just because it has um, a greater surface area and it fits some of these larger masks much better. In this case that's the third brush from Fine Edge Frames number one. Ensure that your foreground color is set to black or white or the color of your choosing and then go and line that brush edge up over the edge of your photo and you can see that I'm lining up that bottom corner of the brush with the bottom corner of the image and when you've got it where you want it you can click it and then do the same with the top side so you can see that I'm lining up that top right corner with the top right corner of the image and then stamp that brush again to create your frame. 
you'll now need to get rid of these excess lines that you've created in making your custom frame. To do this, go up to your Tools panel, select the Rectangular Marquee tool, and then create a selection just outside of the frame. Um, it's fine to have some overlap, but um, you can see those marching ants, which denotes the selection. And then when you're happy with it, you can release your mouse or your pen, and then go up to Select Inverse, which inverts the selection and selects everything outside of what you um, selected with the Rectangular Marquee tool and then press the delete button on your keyboard to eliminate all of that um, excess, all the excess lines that you've created. Press the Control D buttons on your keyboard simultaneous to remove that selection and you are left with a pretty neat fine edge frame. You can go in and do another selection to kind of get rid of some more of these edges if there's too many showing. You can also select the eraser tool from the tools panel and select a just a regular round brush and go in and custom uh, erase away some of those edges. But um, I don't mind the um, lack of uniformity in the frame and, and I'm pretty happy the way it is. So that's how you create a custom fine edge frame for your pages. If you have any questions about this technique, please do not hesitate to contact me at Anna underscore Aspness at yahoo.com and I thank you for supporting my art.